We're going to tie a parasol emerger. Now I've already done a short film about uh, how to make, how to tie on your indicator, parasol part. And what I'll do, I'll just tie that on and then put a bit of varnish to secure it. The thing to remember is you don't really want it much bigger than an inch in length. Any longer than that, and you can get difficulties casting. So once we've done that, I'm just going to tie on a shuck. And the shuck I've made using uh, white and brown antron. So I'm just going to tie that in. I'm just going to do a pheasant tail emerger. Obviously, the, these a number of emerges, a number of uh, nymphs that you can tie to go underneath this. I'm just like to keep it nice and simple. We're going to use a pheasant tail body. We're going to use uh, copper wire as a rib. Good thing about pheasant tail is you can have the body as thick or as thin as you like, depending on how many fibers you use. Now we need to tie that on. And secure the pheasant tail. And then with the rib. For the thorax, I'm going to use a bit of peacock curl, two strands would be ideal.
And from there, we can whip finish and varnish. Obviously, the indicator we've got there is far too large. So what we're going to do is just shape it. You see the uh, antron I've used is yellow and orange. That's just to uh, that's just to make sure it's nice and visible for me on the river. Okay, and there you have a parasol emerger. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.